You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived yesterday in Abu Dhabi on a private visit to the United Arab Emirates. He was received by the ruler's representative in Al Dhafra region, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the UAE ambassador to the kingdom, Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, chairman of the Critical Infrastructure and Coastal Protection Authority, Staff Major General Pilot Faris Khalaf Khalfan, chairman of the Critical Infrastructure and Coastal Protection Authority, Bahraini ambassador to the UAE, Mohammed Al Maouda, and UAE senior officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa inaugurated today the 11th edition of the Gulf Industry Fair GIF organized by Hilal Conferences and Exhibitions at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center with the participation of local and international exhibitors. His Royal Highness affirmed the national and Gulf industrial products are able to compete in international markets hailing their role in promoting and their advanced level. His Royal Highness toured the fair sections viewing the developed industrial technologies in aluminum, solar power, environment protection and industrial metal and logistics. The Prime Minister expressed admiration for the international industrial technology presented in the fair, which confirms its growing popularity. His Royal Highness asserted the government's keenness on integrating economic sectors and ensuring their sustainability, and its keenness on supporting and encouraging hosting fairs specialized in industry. He stressed the government's support to expanding industrial activity through providing the necessary infrastructure, energy resources, and Bahraini workers. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted that a strong economy is based on a diverse resource foundation for which industry is the main source expressing pride in the kingdom's achievements in the industrial sector. His Royal Highness noted that the role of fairs and specialized events in the industrial sector in promoting the advantages, incentives and the Bahraini developed industrial infrastructure expressing thanks to the organizers of the fair for their efforts. The Prime Minister activated the Sun logo which draws its energy from solar power. For his part, the Chief Executive Officer of Hilal Conferences and Exhibitions, Jabran Abdurrahman, expressed appreciation and gratitude to his Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support to the Gulf Industry Fair and for inaugurating it. He noted that the industrial companies aim to promote the Made in Bahrain slogan and the potentials of the country as well as to introduce Gulf or rather global level industrial facilities.
A strong lineup of local and international exhibitors is showcasing products and services worth approximately 9 billion US dollars in multiple sectors that support industry in the GCC. Moreover, the launch of the Solar Utilities Network promoting renewable energy and commercial opportunities will also have a positive impact on Bahrain's industrial development. Local manufactured products are on display and the visitors from Bahrain and the Gulf states can see and it's a networking place and now they are giving importance to solar energy. Oil and gas industry to aluminum industry to downstream industries and uh, I see some uh, packaging which is a, a, a booming industry. 88 exhibitors from 18 countries represent the aluminium, energy and environment, industrial metals, industrial process and manufacturing, ports and maritime, industrial facilities and logistics, training for industry and fire and safety sectors. It's a great fair. I've looked around there, some interesting exhibits here, some great companies. Um, I've seen obviously the stands from Alba and Babco as you come in the door from Noga Holdings there. But yeah, there's some of the other smaller companies that provide a great deal of support to the power industry, um, to the renewables industry here in Bahrain. We have industry in Bahrain, we are creating jobs and we're adding value to our economy. Made in Bahrain manufacturers promote the country's capabilities in adding value to world-class industrial facilities which will attract more international and regional investors. Bahrain is a country that has good fundamentals for uh, having successful uh, technology industry and we find out that out of the different plants that we have in the world that Bahrain stands uh, some advantages over others. Chinese Bahraini company that is setting up uh, in Majal, they've taken around 2,000 square meters of space and they will be uh, recycling waste from uh, Saudi Arabia and exporting to the Far East and China. The three-day fair brings to the forefront the need for eco-industrial development considerations in supply, consultancy and growth. For the 11th year, the best industry fair in the Gulf region provides an excellent opportunity for industry decision makers, businessmen in the manufacturing and distributing sectors to meet and collaborate. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul Ghaffour. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, the EDB, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued today Edict Number no. 1 for 2018, appointing a new Board of Directors for the Bahrain EDB for the term 2018 to 2021. The EDB Board of Directors under His Royal Highness's Chairmanship is as follows His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Hassan Abdullah Fakhro, Deputy Chairman, Minister of Finance, the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Minister of Transport and Telecommunications, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Chairman of the Economic Affairs and Labor Fund, Tim Keen, Chief Executive Officer of the Economic Development Board, Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Farooq Yusuf Al Mu'ayyad, Mr. Saud Abdul Aziz Kano, Dr. Samar Majid Al Jishi, Mr. Yusuf Abdullah Ali Rada, Mr. Tariq Jalil Al Safar, Mr. Khalid Ibrahim Hamidan, Mr. Khalid Ali Al Amin, Ms. Najla Mohamed Al Shirawi, Ms. Rasha Mohamed Sabkar, Ms. Fatma Isa Ibrahim. These appointments will take effect immediately. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa patronized today a ceremony for distributing the medals that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa gave to Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and Defense Ministry's Under Secretary Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa on the occasion of the BDF's 50th anniversary. The Commander-in-Chief also honored Bahrain's Medal First and Second Degree to senior officials, commanders, and senior officers. He also awarded the First Class Medal of Competence to senior officers who acquired the master's and doctorate degrees in military science, national defense and civil universities.
The BDF Commander-in-Chief then delivered the speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sharrafuni an al-taghi bukum al-yawm wa an anqil lakum tahiyyat wa taghdeer Sayyidi Sahib al-Jalala al-Qaad al-A'la liquwa al-Difa' al-Bahrain Jalala al-Malik al-Mufadda. في بداية الكلمة أود أوجه شكري إلى الأخوان الذين أنجزوا التمرين تعبوي أمس بكفاءة واقتدار لجميع المسؤولين الذين شاركوا في التمرين وأعدوا له ولله الحمد مستوى التمرين كان جيد جدا والأداء أيضا وكذلك الإصابات بالأهداف ولله الحمد كلها كانت جيدة وجهني جلالة الملك أن أبارك لكم الأوسمة أيضا وأشكركم على أداءكم كل هذه السنين لنا أتمكن من حسبة كل واحد منكم كم سنة قدمها لقوة الدفاع لكن كلكم متغاربين في السنين اللي خدمتوها وقدمتوا أداء جيد القائد الأعلى هو مثالنا في هذا الشيء وهو المؤسس في قوة الدفاع وتباركنا بمشروعين رئيسيين من جلالته ثبتوا عروبة وإسلام هذا البلد العربي المشروع الأول كان مشروع جلالته الإصلاحي وهذا شمل المواطنين وشمل الأرض وشمل النظام وثبت عروبة هذه البلد ولله الحمد تمكننا من الانتصار على جميع الأخطار التي خطط لهذا البلد أن يمر فيه والمشروع الرئيسي الثاني هو تأسيس قوة الدفاع وقائدنا جلالة الملك الله هو اللي وضع اللبن الأولى لهذا الصرح الكبير اللي أنتم اليوم جزء منه ولله الحمد إنجازات قوة الدفاع كثير وكلكم تعرفونها لو بغيت أنا أختزلها ولا أخصها في كلمة أو كلمتين يمكن ما أعطيها حقها لكن أنتم عارفين الإنجازات كلها اللي حققتها قوة الدفاع في ميادين الشرف والرجولة في العمليات العسكرية وفي المناسبات الدولية وفي التحالفات الدولية ولله الحمد سمعت قوة الدفاع دائما كانت تسبق عمل الجندي البحريني فأنا كرر شكري لكم كقادة ومسؤولين على هذه الإنجازات ولولا كفاءتكم وقيادتكم وخدمتكم واستعدادكم في جميع المجالات ما حققنا اللي حققت قوة الدفاع أتمنى لكم إن شاء الله التوفيق والنجاح في السنين القادمة إن شاء الله وإن شاء الله نلتقي دائما على الخير وكل عام وانتم بخير وأنا بعد أيضا في هذه المناسبة أستحضر أبطالنا الشهداء اللي قدموا أرواحهم فدا للوطن إن كانوا في قوة الدفاع أو حتى في القوات الأمنية The Kingdom made a new achievement, winning a silver medal in the 10th International Invention Fair in the Middle East, which was held in Kuwait, and a gold medal in the Portuguese Inventors Association. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, honored the winners, hailing the efforts exerted to make this outstanding achievement. He affirmed the ministry's keenness on encouraging students to participate in international competitions. He also expressed thanks to the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs for their efforts, wishing the project's organizers further success. 
In his statement to the Middle East, the Minister of Information Affairs and Bahrain Institute for Political Development's chairman of the Board of Trustees, Ali Ramehi, praised the services of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in serving the pilgrims and securing their safety. He denounced all calls to insult Saudi Arabia, degrade it from its honorable history in serving the Islamic nation, politicize religious rituals, and internationalize the two holy mosques. Al Ramehi affirmed that the efforts and facilitations provided by Saudi Arabia to the visitors of the two holy mosques are highly appreciated by the Islamic world. He noted the number of projects implemented to expand the two holy mosques as well as the security, organizational, traffic and health services. Saudi Arabia provides to its visitors to ensure their safety and security despite the schemes to commit acts of violence, terrorism and incitement to sedition and unrest. He stressed that the great Saudi efforts cannot be overlooked or negated except by the dismissive and malicious or by those who do not wish for the welfare of the Islamic nation its unity, cohesiveness or progress. He described the suspicious calls to internationalize the two holy mosques as unethical errors that bespeak of malice and political bankruptcy and ignorance about the historic role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in spreading the Islamic call and the values of moderation and fairness, establishing Islamic educational centers and providing humanitarian and relief assistance worldwide. The minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is the cradle of Islam and uh, Mecca of all Muslims and that it has been historically honored to serve Hajj and Umrah performance led by its wise leadership who have dedicated the country's human and material capabilities in bringing together the Muslim nation in amity, fraternity and tolerance, aloof from sedition, hate, political or sectarian disputes. He added that the kingdom's values, status and sovereignty are stronger than any intrigues and will always be the red line that should not be undermined or overlooked. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States of America, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, hosted a dinner banquet marking the Golden Jubilee of the Bahrain Defense Force and the 70th anniversary of the Bahraini U.S. military relations. He congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander in Chief of the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the occasion. The ambassador highlighted the achievements of Bahrain Defense Force, affirming that the support of His Majesty the King has contributed to making the BDF an example of professionalism, effectiveness and high combat readiness. He also stressed the importance of reinforcing strategic Bahraini-American partnership to achieve common goals. The former commander of the 5th Fleet, Vice Admiral Kevin Donegan, praised the bilateral military relations and strong partnership. He noted that His Majesty the King's wisdom, which led to the establishment and development of the BDF, the guests praised the professionalism of the BDF and the fundamental role played by the Kingdom of Bahrain as an important U.S. ally outside the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Who continue to make the partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States is strong and enduring and, and unique uh, for a number of reasons. While the U.S. Middle East force had a humble beginning in Bahrain in 1949, the lasting and mutual beneficial partnership has strengthened and grown for over seven decades. When Amir Isa bin Salman al Khalifa charged his eldest son, Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, with the establishment of the Bahraini Defense Force, the future king chose to build the BDF officer corps around a cadre of promising young leaders. The General Directorate of Traffic is keen on facilitating its services provided and on opening branches for citizens and residents. More details in this report. In continuation of the General Directorate of Traffic's efforts to facilitate services for citizens and residents, two branches in Citra Mall and Hammond Town Roundabout 17 were opened to provide traffic services. <laughs> The General Directorate of Traffic is keen on implementing its strategy to develop all traffic services provided, including the time period of completing paperwork and the satisfaction of citizens and residents with the procedures. With the Director's firm belief that electronic services are faster and better, there are some citizens that prefer to complete their paperwork the traditional way. In previous years, the security center located in Amhara Governorate was opened, which provides traffic services. Following that, the security center at Lulu Hypermarket in Head was opened. During last year and the year before that, 
100,000 correspondence were completed in Amharag and many more in Hamad Town and Sitra Mall. The two new centers in Hamad Town and Sutra provide all traffic services. This development plan is in line with the continuous work to develop electronic services. In 2017, the directorate completed more than a one and a half million procedures, 218,000 of which were electronic, which can be accessed through the directorate's application and the e-government website. We used to go to the General Directorate of Traffic in Isa Town, where many people go, which makes finding a parking space a problem and a time-consuming process. Now they've opened branches in some of the governorates, including Sitra. The procedure takes only a few minutes, making it easier for citizens. When I heard about the opening of the center in Sitra Mall, I was very pleased. I finished my paperwork quickly, and for that I would like to thank the General Directorate of Traffic. It is important to note that the actions taken to develop traffic services represent an essential aspect of ensuring traffic safety, as well as saving citizens and residents' time and efforts.